When you first log in, your current working directory is your home directory. Your home directory has the same name as your username, in this case it's temp. And it is where your personal files and subdirectories are saved. To find out what is your home directory, just type ls. The ls command lists the contents of your current working directory. Please note that there may be no files visible in your home directory. That's because ls does not in fact show all the files in your home directory to be listed, but only those ones which names does not begin with a dot. Files beginning with a dot are known as hidden files and usually contain important program configuration information. They are hidden because you should not change them unless you are very familiar with Unix. To list all files in your home directory, including those whose names begin with a dot, just type ls-a. As you can see, ls-a lists files that are normally hidden. Many commands like ls and others can take options, so dash a is an example of an option. Please note that options change the behavior of the command. There are online manual pages that tell you which options a particular command can take. And of course how each option can modify the behavior of the command. We will now make a subdirectory in your home directory to hold the files you will be creating and using in the course of this tutorial. To make a subdirectory called say dir1 in your current working directory. Just type mkdir dir1. To see the directory you have just created, type ls. The command cd directory or cd dir in our case means change the current working directory to dir1. The current working directory may be thought of as the directory you are in. For example, your current position in the file system tree. To change to the directory you have just made, type cd dir1. Type ls to see the contents of the directory. Now, an exercise for you. Please make another directory inside dir1 directory called sub1. You can pause the video, complete the task and then Play it further. Here is a solution for this simple task. Just uh, type mkdir sub1. Now let's cd to the upper directory to dir1 and uh, run the command ls-a. As you can see, dir1 directory and all other directories has got this special directory is called dot and double dot. In Linux uh, dot means the current directory, so type in cd dot means stay where you are, so in this current directory. And cd double dot means the parent of the current directory, so type in cd double dot will take you one directory up. Now try to type it cd dot dot. Note, typing cd with no argument always returns you to your home directory. This is very useful if you are lost in the system. Now try to type just cd. It will take you to your home directory. Another handy command is pwd, print working directory. If you try to type it right now, pwd, this will give you full path name to to the directory you are in and uh, it will look something like this. The last directory is the, your home directory or the directory which you are in and all the way up to the root of the file system. Dash sign means the root of the file system. Now another exercise is uh, looking at uh, this result of pwd command try to move around using cd ls and pwd again command to explore your fine system.
And remember, if you get lost, just type cd by itself to return to your home directory. Let's move on and type cd to get back to our home directory and then type ls dir1 to list the contents of your ls uh, of your dir sorry dir1 directory. Now type ls sub1 and you'll get a message like this. The reason is sub1 is not in your current working directory. To use a command on a file or directory not in the current working directory, the directory you are currently in. You must either cd to the current directory or specify its full path name. To list the contents of your backups uh, or some other directory like uh, sub1, you must type ls uh, dir1 slash sub1. Home directories can also be referred to by the tilde character. It can be used to specify path starting at your home directory. So type in ls tilde slash dir1 will list the contents of your dir1 directory no matter where you currently are in the file system. What do you think ls tilde would do in the, your command line? So ls Tilt will list your home directory and ls tilt slash dot dot will list the directory which is one level up for sure. Now please try to list the contents of uh, the directory which is two levels up from your home directory. And the solution is ls tilt slash dot dot slash dot dot 